Hello YouTube. I hope everybody's doing fine. I have finished my brushless motor driver that I introduced to you. So it went from this to this. And I have of course not just a PCB but I have a finished version which I will show you right after this. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com Not only does PCBWay offer high quality PCB services, which include standard PCBs, they also offer advanced PCBs, flexible PCBs and PCB assembly. You can upload your Gerber files and select the options according to your needs, including SMD stencil and assembly services. On the top of the page you can make your selection. PCBWay also has CNC machining, sheet metal cutting and bending, 3D printing and injection molding services. You can choose from a vast variety of materials. You can upload your CAD file for an instant online quote, including the selection of your preferred material and surface finish. They also offer anodizing of aluminum parts in different colors and surface treatments. You can get sheet metal fabrication and laser cutting. 3D printing services and cover your injection molding needs. PCBWay is your one-stop solution for hobbyist and professional manufacturing as well. So thank you very much PCBWay for sponsoring the uh, PCBs. So as I said, I went from this, which I do design my PCBs with uh, Cat Soft Eagle. And then I do print them out on paper so I can check the positions of the parts so they, if they fit or not. And I actually make them double sided. <clears throat> if I have any parts on the back as well to check the alignments so from this I received these and they absolutely are beautiful I could not be happier and it's the first time I designed like a the shape of a PCB and uh, I, I really really like it and as you can see, brushless motor controller by Hyrie, my name and date. So this is a brushless controller, based but not based, but uh, it does work with simple fog library. I also have a different library that I found that uh, works as well, obviously. So it does have a 5 volt regulator. It does have an Atmega 328. It uses the DRV8313 motor driver. It has onboard serial um, to TTL adapter or USB to serial uh, chip, which is the CH33, no, 340N. And it has a USB Type C connector and it has an onboard LED connected to pin 13 and it has analog input for uh, speed control if you want to use that and it has a magnetic encoder which is the AS5600 and this is as far as I saw most complete board which will fit behind a 2804 brushless motor driver like this one so, and uh, let me show it to you, let me unplug all this. So this is how it looks like. I'm sorry, I should get under the light a little more. So this is how it looks like, all populated, obviously. You can see the bottom. I did print out a spacer between the motor and the PCB because you have the magnetic encoder sticking out plus you have a little bit of uh, 
it's a little bit raised here so i had to put of course a small gap in between so it won't rub the uh, magnetic the magnet on the encoder so first i wanted to use spacers and it was all messed up and then i figured i just print a spacer which was the must, much better solution to do it does use four m 2.5 millimeter screws these the ones i had obviously too long so i had to shorten them and that's how i mounted it and for now i did mount the motor with a three pin uh, connector and that way i can also try different size motors this is a smaller one i'm not sure i think it's 22 or 4 or 8 something like that and i just put a connector on here as well so i can try this easily so as i said it has the vertical usb type c connector onboard usb to serial chip 320 omega 328 dr v8313 and the 5 volt regulator for the uh at mega chip so long story short let me plug it in oh, i also have the analog input which i have here in um, potentiometer that plugs right here doesn't matter which direction motor is plugged in and then we have the power source i'm running it with uh, 12 volts it's a little bit fiddly if you do it behind the phone so this is it and let me turn on the motor and you can see it is rotating and with the potentiometer i can adjust the speed to very slow rotation so this uh, <clears throat> code is not using the magnetic encoder, it's just a uh, speed. It also has a servo mode where it rotates back and forth. But here I'm showing it just a regular rotation of the motor. And I read, or oh, yes, I read some complaints about noise on the motor, but I have zero noise so let me turn it off and then we we'll upload the first code i will take off the encode or uh, the potentiometer because we don't need that anymore plug it in and here i have the ide that's the code i had uploaded and let me upload this code here this is uh, open loop velocity example from the simple fog library and when i first tried the board it did not work and then i looked at the schematic and i looked and looked and looked and then i figured out that i have actually the sleep and enable pin connected to the 328 and none of these codes uh, do use them and therefore it was not enabled it was not pulled high it did not work because of that so i have uh, pin 8 and 9 as output and both set to high and after that it does work of course not of course but it does work <laughs> to my relief so um let me plug it in I'll turn the power on and now I open serial monitor and it does initialize the motor and the encoder sorry for the dark light here and now I can input T velocity say 30 and the motor spins I can do it smaller. I will show you in a second on the serial monitor as well. 
t10, I can input t minus 5, and it will rotate the other way. Okay, t30 does rotate again. If I put t10, uh, t0, motor stops. So this is the, what was it? Velocity mode, where you can adjust the speed and direction of the motor and if it's stopped it is holding position uh, i saw some other examples i don't have to i didn't find the code where it does uh, snap back to zero with this it snaps to the next position okay and now i will show you what it looks like on the zero monitor what i did zoom in blue, blue screen so that's what I did here you can see there's my finger over here it says motor ready so target velocity I put uh, you put T and then the number 30 10 minus 5 30 and then 0 and it stopped so now I will close the serial monitor and upload the position code and here you can see how I have to set pin 8 and 9 to output and uh, digital write them high so they're enabled otherwise uh, otherwise I can I have the with this I have the option to put the motor to sleep so it's compiling the sketch and these are my pin numbers 3, 5, and 6 are the PWM uh, pins, and 7 is the enable pin. And, um, oops, take my finger away. Okay, now it did done uploading. So now I will well, I'll show you on the motors itself. Let me zoom out again. Okay, sorry for the shaky video. So I power it up. Open serial monitor. And then it says uh, motor ready. And now I can go to a target, say T20. It goes to that position and stops. If I go oops, T minus 20, it goes back to that position. And stops, I make it shorter. T2. T minus 2. And then it goes back to the oh I'm sorry actually um, this goes to the zero position of the encoder I did that I said that wrong I do T zero that's the zero position of the encoder let me hold it like that and then I go T5 for example it goes counterclockwise and then if I go T zero again goes back to position zero so these are the three examples I want to show you in this video before making it too long and uh, I will share the PCBs on pcbway.com and I will upload the codes to my github so you can download them there and uh, this is practically it all you need to do is plug it into your computer plug in 12 volts it can be powered up to 20 volts and um, this is practically it and with the mounting tabs you can easily mount it wherever you want i'm actually wanting to make a very simple um, robot arm robot arm yeah robot arm because now I have the speed control I have position control and um, 
with a step and it's smooth it's not like with a step or that jumps back and forth and um, plus with the stepper you don't have position control unless of course you put a magnet on there as well on the shaft then you would be able because also the the library does support stepper motors as well but still I like the brushless better because it's much smoother uh, movement especially on low speed I mean that will be very very easy and with these mounts and with controllers I can make the robot arm really pretty pretty simple so anyway if you do have questions please leave them in the comments um, please like subscribe and share the video it would help me out at least so they say <laughs> and uh, please do support me on my um, Banggood affiliate links you can even if you're feeling generous support me on patreon the amount doesn't matter I just want to get more than five people on my patreon so anyway this is it hope you enjoyed it hope you liked it and as I said this is as far as I saw the most complete because you have also the USC rule chip most boards uh, similar to this do have the driver chip and the magnetic encoder but uh, this one also has the analog input which you can use as well and uh, anyway this is I think really small oh let me just show you dimension also on that so the board has a diameter of 34 millimeters almost with the tabs it's 45 and these are m3 3 millimeter holes to mount it and if your motor does have different uh, hole pattern for the um, for the motor you could just uh, print a spacer like this and then uh, have a different motor mount to this PCB if you want to this one actually has the same hole pattern and uh, but since the board is still bigger so it's uh, you don't uh, gain anything by the small uh, motor here but you can use this with four larger motors as well so anyway uh, thank you for watching and take care everybody